sir. You cannot do that. If you don't do it, I'm gonna I'm, I'll open it. You cannot yeah, you do will. that. You cannot. Yes. We'll hand my sister my sister my phone. We're this both recording. I know, I know, but you being that you're videoing this area and videoing the uh especially being up on at the courthouse videoing the area of the courthouse. A long list of tickets there guys. They hate the constitution. He's giving me three citations even though I tried to issue can I see? Have you ever felt confused when confronted with a police request for identification without a clear reason? In such tense situations, knowing your personal rights not only helps you avoid unnecessary legal trouble, but also serves as a way to protect your dignity and personal freedom. Understanding the law is key to acting confidently and ensuring your rights are upheld. In today's video, we will explore the rights granted to you by the law and how to handle these situations intelligently. Get ready to equip yourself with the essential knowledge to protect yourself effectively. There is no law that allows the police to stop a vehicle without any reasonable cause. They don't no, have a reason. I did, not I did not commit a traffic violation. I did not commit a traffic violation. Oh, no, you need to that, listen. Uh, on the driver's side, uh, yeah, don't worry. It's hard to accept the irresponsibility and ignorance displayed by some police officers. Why do I dare to say this? Just think about it. When there's absolutely no legitimate reason, police still brazenly stop a driver and make baseless accusations. This is nothing short of an obvious setup, entirely lacking in justification. In this situation, the driver has every right to remain silent and not answer any questions, thanks to the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Or I'm gonna drag it out, this, out of this car. I can hear you. Sir? I can hear you. Listen, can you hear me? Yeah, you can. Right, yeah, you can. And my, hey, yeah, you heard me. Listen, you just heard me. Quick. Listen, real quick. You said right. a disturbance. Because you're wrong. It's not what no, I think. You just said it. Thinking comes from not knowing. You just said it. Thinking comes from not knowing. Yeah. You cannot do that. If you don't do it, I'm gonna I'm, I'll open it. You cannot yeah, you do will. that. You cannot, because yeah, you you're will. being recorded. Sister, my phone. We're both, both recording. I know, I know, but you can delete that. You can't delete oh, this. You can't delete any Disturbance, this is not a traffic violation. What did you pull I'm me over here. for? What did you pull me over for, Mr. Yeah, Laura? You, you assumed that a traffic violation. No, I said, what did you, you almost hit the lady with I did not hit her. You that is a lie. Go call her. We're working on it. Go call. Oh, then work on it. When she comes over here and she confirms that I did not hit her. Yeah, you're lying. You're lying. You are lying. You are lying to both of y'all. I just told him I didn't have it. I just told him I didn't have it. Say again. I just told him I didn't have it, but I'm gonna answer no more questions. What was the reason for pulling me over? Yeah, yeah. Assuming that I almost hit that woman, right? You're assuming. No, you're assuming. And then ask her if I almost hit her. You just change your Go, go. Now I'm asking no more questions. Okay. I know my rights. I could record you. Trust me. Yes, I can. What is your badge number? No, you have to give it to me by law. By law, you're supposed to give me your bad number. Okay, what law? Oh, oh, see, so you're laughing. What law? Let me call, let me call Come on, law. you don't know your law? I do. Six weeks no, of, 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 of no, police training? That's all, That's all you had. I know no, you, you don't, did. Bitch. Mr. Kent, but you don't have a badge okay, number? To, you know what? Your property. I you wish can. you would, bitch. I wish you would. Yeah, there's insurance on here, and wish, you will pay for that. I wish you would. Consider the case of Gleek versus Cuniff. 2011, a story that exposes the absurdity caused by police when they arrested Simon Gleek. The court's ruling ultimately affirmed that Simon Gleek was not only a citizen, but also someone protected by our Constitution. In this instance, the police not only infringed upon Simon's freedom, but also clearly violated the Fourth Amendment when they deliberately stopped the driver's vehicle. This action not only constituted a legal violation, but also left a stain on public perception, creating a negative impression of the police force. It truly represents a significant disappointment, raising serious questions about the trust that citizens place in those assigned to protect and serve the community. Thanks, Mr. Kent. I wish you would. It's all up to date. I wish you would. You said I almost hit that lady. That's your whole story, mm -hmm. bitch. You just made something up, Mr. Laura. Your call has been forwarded to an automated. Yeah, recording yeah, you. You just lied. You just I lied. You, record, bitch. you just lied. Yeah. I wish you would. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Kent. Mr. Laura. Okay. Yeah. Go call the lady y'all said I almost hit. Yeah, hey, talk to me. I'm right here. I'm the owner. No, he did. Yeah, he did. He seen me. Who seen you? Oh, that, the man. officer. Hey, hey, Hello? Hey, tell mama this uh, bitch ass uh, cop or whatever over here trying to arrest us or whatever. Story. Uh, story. Yep. And trying to damage my.
fucking car trying to mm -hmm. take my brother to jail. I tried to hit somebody. Yeah, he just I said that we're her. trying to hit. Hey, somebody. You can hear me. I can you can hear you. I can't hear you. You can hear me. Fine. Come on, bro. Come on, brother. Yeah. Come on, brother. Hello? Come on. Let's not play that. I know my law. Hello. Come on. Uh, this uh, I'll pull volume up. The, uh, these cops over here try, trying to uh, say that I hit somebody. Uh, that uh, Rob almost hit somebody. I said, call the witness. Oh, call I the call witness. Her. I think he said they're gonna try to damage my car. Mm -hmm. I said I Did I try to hit her? The cops. They said that I tried to hit somebody. Yeah, they say uh, that Mexican cop over here saying he was trying to hit somebody, and he was trying to investigate. What? I said, well, go ahead and do it. Then. No, so I said, what is a reasonable cause to pull me over? They have no reason. I have I committed a traffic violation. I did not commit a traffic violation. No, you need to listen. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. I said I wish you would. You don't worry. I wish you would. Everything my car. I have. I have nothing. You trying to say I hit somebody, or he's trying to say I hit somebody? Get the witness and ask her if I try to hit her. You don't have to. You can go over there. You protect and serve me. Absolutely. Yes, calm absolutely, down, bitch. Calm down, calm down. No, okay. I'm good. That's calm my brother, down. bitch. Sure you're okay. calm, I know. He knew he I know my laws. He said I tried to hit somebody. In the first place, law. if I was okay. But you tell me. You're brother. the officer. I have, I have. I have to go to jail for my, Answer my that. Brother. Answer that. You are the officer, not me. You have to have reasonable or articulable suspicion that I was about to commit a crime. You right? Give you that. Yeah, did I commit a crime? You're close. Did I commit a crime? Articulable yeah, suspicion that I am about to or have committed a crime. Did I commit a crime? No, I'm not telling you. You say I'm committing a crime. I didn't say that. Oh, you're right. Mr. Laura over there said that I, I was about to. Did I? Did I? He called you. You answered your own question. Dumb. For real. And an officer is supposed to remain. Remain. Yeah, yeah, what? Remain. What? Egg, yeah, I'm asked. That was a question. Jesus. Oh, no, Jesus. You are dumb. Six weeks in the academy don't do nothing for you. Oh, we don't, bitch. <laughs> hey, why you, hey, why you just, hey, why Calm you just interacting with my brother, bitch? Nothing. Calm down, Shit. pony. Calm down. You Calm don't down. know me. That, Calm down. Calm we down. Anyway. That, I'm answering no questions. Okay. Until y'all could prove that I actually tried to run somebody over. Did I try to run somebody over? They have to bring the witness. Okay. They have to bring the they witness. They don't have nobody. They're trying to get all the, uh, the whatever. Get the evidence. witness. Come they on, don't have down. nothing. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Did I try to run hey, somebody over? Hey, keep your hands off my car, bitch. Hey, yeah, come on down. Calm no, down. No, car. He has calm no down. right for that. Calm down. White motherfucker. Calm down. There's no need Arrest for that. Arrest me, there's no need for that. This white motherfucker. There's no need for that. But they need to bring the witness forward. I don't give a f he brought her. Really wiping one of his grandma's ass. Come on. I ain't gonna sit tight. Oh shit. Trust me. I will. Oh Lord Jesus. I just know my laws, but it's yeah, up to you to know it. Trust me, brother. Been through this. Done this. You don't think I have? No. Because you're a cop. You think I always been a cop? Yes. Yes. Hello. You've been a cop your whole life. Huh? Your whole life. Have you been in handcuffs? Answer this that question. Was, uh, this, that Have you been in handcuffs? Okay. okay. Oh, just a while ago, you couldn't hear me, right? I can hear you. I can't hear her. Just a while ago, you couldn't hear me. Okay. No, it's not. Okay. And he got, he, he said, he's over here. Okay, in his car camera, he said, almost ran somebody over. In his car camera, he said, almost ran somebody over. Bring the witness forward. And we told him, where's the witness? And I told him that he keeps tapping my car on my calm roof down. calm down hell no this no I, know, I am too but you Shit, know what we don't somebody. we don't hey. deal with that like that and then he comes around it's right from wrong right if i was okay and then he goes to calm my down. side calm like, down yeah, well, pony okay. hey calm down calm down Shit. don't be loud do not be loud we don't need that i text myself no I don't worry my and i record this motherfucker calm down like, calm down bring the witness forward they're not taking him they will if you keep talking I'm sick of they you will. Fuckers. If you keep talking, bring the witness forward. And ask the witness Hello? if I almost ran her over. They, they ask the witness. Nothing. I said, I have issues. I got everything. Over that. It's under my, or whatever. They pissing me the fuck off. Oh, Lord Jesus. What's his badge number? Remember, you sir? Refuse, they refuse your name and your badge, badge number? number? 
You can see my name. I you need know, you to give it to me. Said, no. By no. law. No. By no. yes. No. yes. Okay. Yes, you do. Yes, okay. you do. Calm down. Ooh. You're supposed to provide your badge. Are you wanting to file a complaint? I'm not. Yeah, I will if you don't. I will if you don't give me your badge. Right now, it's Officer Kent. And your badge number? And your badge number? You're a protective servant. Protective servant? A public servant. I'm sorry. I stand corrected. No, of course. I don't take none. I don't take none to you doing your job. Please send your message. Pony, you need to shut the f up. You're making it worse. You didn't know about it too. Look, look. Yeah. Uh-huh. I thought you said you... Nothing's going on. Nothing's going on. They're trying to people. You heard the witness. You heard the witness. You heard the witness. You heard... You heard the witness. Nothing's going on. No, you heard the witness. Uh, trying to run over somebody and they don't want to give it just uh, the badge numbers with, uh, over here by oh, you heard the you heard the witness laura you straight lied hold on roll down no the i'm not i'm about to let you go i don't right? have to hold the, roll down the window I'm about to let you go just give me one exactly. second okay okay okay, okay. okay. all of a sudden uh, whatever i'm uh, saying that it's no, they're about to let us go that was sick cool senora we have the right to protect ourselves and demand that police respect our rights under the Constitution. Understanding your rights is not just crucial for protecting yourself in tense situations with law enforcement, but is also an important part of maintaining transparency and accountability of the police to the community. I believe the police need to understand the concept of public spaces and citizens' rights when filming in public. Now we'll give you my name and date of birth under the threat of arrest. Sir, sir, this is going to be your last chance then I'm going to place you under arrest. I, I'll give you my name. Once again, I want to emphasize that public refers to spaces owned by the state, such as parks, squares, etc., where every citizen has the right to freely enter and take photos or videos without anyone having the authority to interfere. Yet, in this case, the police appeared in large numbers as if preparing for a major battle. Meanwhile, the situation was extremely simple. A citizen was merely exercising their right to film on a public sidewalk near the courthouse. The actions of the individual were entirely justified and protected by the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. I was on the courthouse steps and around I hear video and yes, sir. the parking lots and stuff. So I take that as a, um, I, need your, I need your name and date of birth, please. And are you asking me or? Well, I have the right to decline. I haven't broken a law. This is a. We have a 1088 on premises here, video in the area. Are you familiar with this? On private property. Is this private property? I didn't see any signs. Okay. If you can show me the signs, I'll gladly leave. Okay. It's all right. I, I have no ill will intent. I'm not here to cause any problems, any trouble. You're driving. You walk. I don't answer questions. Oh, really? Okay, that's fine. We, we can... Am I being detained? Yeah, you are. For what crime? For what crime? Your video and county vehicles. Which is perfectly legal according to the 2010 DHS home. He was up on the courthouse steps. At the yes, sir. Video no up on, our, on the courthouse And that's, that's public property. Have I committed a crime here? <clears throat> Officer, have I committed a crime? I have no ill will, no ill intent. You won't have a problem answering questions, man. So just stand out there. Am I being detained? It's a First Amendment protected activity by the Homeland Department of Homeland Security. I'm not here to bother anybody. I haven't broken any laws. Detained, I'd like to be on my way. I'd rather not say, please. 
I, as a matter of fact, I was I was currently on my way. I was just taking a couple pictures. I was just out taking a few pictures. And and as I said, if it if it's if it's restricted area, I, I will gladly leave. No trespassing signs. Guys, there are now three police officers here. Uh, uh, officer, I, have I done anything wrong? He's saying I'll be detained. Uh, if he says you're being detained, you're being arrested for a crime. You're being detained, detained for an investigation. But you investigate first, then detain. Detained, so we can't investigate. Have I broken a law here? We're trying to figure that out now. Like what? What's? What's what? What's the the law that you suspect me of breaking? Uh, no, sir. No, it looks like it goes that way. Is that blood or is that paint? Yes, sir. Guys, I have been detained for no reason. Any laws, there are no, no trespassing signs back here. I was just getting a couple of pictures. And it looks like they're trying to find a reason. How you doing, officer? Two more police officers have pulled up, guys. Just taking some pictures. I was on my way out when he stopped me. I haven't broken any laws. It's a security risk of the fact that you're on here after hours of government facility and that you're videoing this area and video and the DHS memo. This memo asserts that filming in public spaces is legal and protected to enhance free speech rights and safeguard citizens' monitoring activities. Is the large presence of police here merely to showcase power, or do they have nothing else to do? It's hard to believe that so many officers would show up just to confront a citizen exercising their rightful authority. This is truly absurd. When police demand that someone filming in public, where there are no signs restricting such activity, provide their identity, it clearly represents a serious violation of the citizen's rights. This action goes entirely against what is protected by the Fourth Amendment. We cannot remain silent in the face of such abuses of power. The freedom of each individual deserves to be respected and protected. In this area, and especially being up on at the courthouse video in the area of the courthouse. The name and- North Carolina is not a stop and identify our, state. But you are at this point, you're a security of this place right Is now. that a law? For here, this day and time, oh yes. Is this day and time? If, if, are you, Good you sir. You won't answer any questions that I ask. I've you. answered the questions. No, sir, you have. You asked, asked me what- you Your name, and date of birth, and you refuse to give me any information of who you are, and you're on a government, and I was on my way out. I haven't broken any any laws. You were on the, you was up, up at the courthouse. When and I that is public in. property. No ill will intent. I'm not here to do any harm. And you won't have a problem I'm just, giving us your name and date of birth. What do I need to do I'm that right for? I'm obstruct, obstructing and delaying the investigation here because... I'm sorry. I just don't want anybody right. behind me. To instruct... I an arrestable offense. In order to obstruct, I have to be in suspicion of a crime. And you, you're in suspicion of the fact that you are out here on a government facility. Public property. This is a person you are built, you are videoing the equipment and the courthouse. Which is perfectly legal according to DHS. Security issued a memo in 2010 and revised it in 2018 saying I have every right to do so. The eyes cannot trespass. I have no ill will intent. I'm not here to do any harm. I have a problem with letting us check who you are. We don't know who could be a terrorist as I, far as we know. 
Do you have you? If have, not, then it won't be a problem. Have you read the Department of? Yes, sir. But the First Amendment cannot be deemed a suspicious activity. This is a First Amendment protected activity. When you are video and no, sir. Facility. Department. The Supreme Court has already ruled suspicious activity cannot be a reason. You cannot deem the First Amendment suspicious as suspicious can activity. Be as to hold you and detain you. Especially until you give us your information of who you don't, then you are the And if you do not give us the information, then you'll be arrested for this calamity. But in order to be arrested, I have to be suspected all you have of a crime. To produce us with your name and date of birth, your ID. That's okay. All you got to do. Since you have one, two, three, four, five, and three officers on this side coming around, you know, that, that puts me asked, in harm's way. And, your ID, and I've been very polite with you. And I do not have it, and I will give you my name. Sir, this is going to be your last chance, then I'm going to place you under arrest. Okay. I'll give you my name. I'm going to buy, pat you down, make sure you have no weapons or anything like I, that. I will, I will tell you, I don't have a problem with it. I do have a, car, I do I, have I, a I, pocket knife in my car. Keep your hands up for me. I appreciate it. I do have a pocket knife Go ahead and put your hands down. Everything's being recorded. It is in my left front pocket. I won't reach for it. Yes, sir. With a can of dip. Yes, sir. It should be maybe a dollar bill, some change. I ain't worried about your dollar bill. I ain't worried about nothing like that. And... Okay. Anything under that bottle? Uh, no, sir. It's just a spit bottle. Okay. Spitting on the concrete and, no, you know, we're dipping. You good for right okay. now? Keys. I have a belt on. I'm going to take the keys off. All yes, right. sir. Go ahead. And right here on this car. This side, I don't want to scratch your hood. It's got a bunch right. of them. Yep, you good right here, man. Yes, sir. Just make sure you ain't got no weapons. Yes, sir. Everything when this encounter's over, do remind me that I have your knock. Can I get your name and badge number, please? The hey, officer Rudy, it. Badge number 151. Officer Rudy. And, and can I... No ill will intent. I'm not here to do any harm. I was just out taking some pictures. It's a First Amendment protected activity. It's already ruled on it. Supreme Court's already ruled on it. Did you... Sir, did you check my front dollar bills in there or something? I ain't worried about your dollar bills. Okay. Like so, that's what I was worried about. Yes, sir. And I told you about it? You did? I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Just taking some pictures, some video. I'm not trying to break into anybody's car, you know, looking at them. Is it okay if I rest my hand in my pocket? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He doesn't search right, me. That's all it took for us to check and make sure that you was okay that you didn't have any warrants on you, that you wasn't a threat to come on this property after hours because it is a closed facility. When it's open, suspicious that you are here, so we're asking you to not come back on this property. And I'm on my way out. Appreciate your cooperation. That's all it would have took. You wouldn't have had to go this far, you understand? Yes, sir. You Can I get your name badge number, please? You have a good day. You try right here. You got a video. Have a good day. Poplin's badge number is... Incidents like these remind us that there are still serious issues regarding police abuse of power. While not always occurring, each incident serves as a wake-up call, reminding us of the importance of being knowledgeable to protect ourselves in difficult situations. We cannot sit idly by in the face of these injustices. Understanding will be a powerful weapon that helps us stand firm and reclaim our rights. This driver ultimately received a ticket from the police, but expressed dissatisfaction with their conduct. Why is that? Let's take a look. Because of these guys. I've complied with everything, guys. Without even discussing the issue of whether a crime was committed, it is worth noting that this driver absolutely had the right to film while interacting with the police. This action is not only legal, but also protected by the First Amendment regarding freedom of speech. The freedom to film is not only a right for every citizen, but also an essential part of democracy. When you get bigger, you just do it, and then the next they come for a public. And I need you to let down this back window. Hey, sir, go ahead and step out of the car for me. You can bring your phone with you and record. I'm recording as well. You're not going to do this to bring your kids, man. No, I'm going to teach my kids the right way, not to be. Hey, hey stop stupid nothing right now. I don't even control absolutely so, nothing, guys. Take your hands out of your pockets and stop doing this. I'm, I'm not going to be out here hanging this car with you. Okay, let's go get it. Can you give me the insurance, please?
because I'm recording for my First Amendment rights. He wants a sheriff deputy, which is a true law of the land anyways. Text it to me. Yeah, just text it to me. He pulled, he calling in a, didn't like me recording for my First Amendment rights. He just waved at a sheriff over. I completely understand the driver's anxiety when being stopped by the police with allegations regarding tinted windows. However, what he is truly worried about is not just the fine, but also the safety of his small child sitting inside. Imagine the anxiety the child feels when the police request to open the car door for inspection, an action that could frighten them. It's heartbreaking to see that the threat from the police not only instills fear in an innocent child, but also seriously violates the rights of the citizen under the Fourth Amendment. I've complied with everything, guys. I've complied with everything. Let me see it right here, guys. I did it. I did everything he did. He waved this guy over here. What was your name and badge? It's a problem. The problem is, is he separated me from my family. How did he separate you from my family? Never again, guys. Go 8,000 kilometers. Wasn't treated like this until I get back. My Coast Guard stops on there, too. Hey, go ahead and roll your window up. They're with me. 8,000 kilometers through Mexico, guys. And this is what I get. As soon as I get back, I get them from my family. They don't separate from your family in Mexico. But here they do, because they have egos. Stand over there. Now he's telling me what to do again. In this situation, the driver did not resist or object. He simply accepted the ticket. But what he could not accept was the way the police treated him. They were genuinely ruthless, behaving as if the citizen were an enemy, highlighting severe discrimination in their conduct. The fierce expressions and threatening demeanor from the police not only left the driver feeling disappointed, but also deeply hurt. He had to endure an experience of gross injustice, where law enforcement, which is supposed to protect and serve, became a source of fear and anxiety. God. Colon searches are coming next. Colon searches are coming. We have no rights in America left. We gotta stand up. We gotta stand up for it. They're, they're taking, destroying people's family. They're talking about my tent. No, I can't see his tent on his vehicle at all. Did I get back here? This is what I get. Bunch of harassment. They're trained to, we're the enemy. They're, they're not our friends anymore. Now they're trained that we're the enemies and that we're gonna hurt them. And he's asked me to take my hands out of my pocket. He won't let me see his tent. Got two cruisers here, separating me from my family. That's all they want, man. These are the same ones. Put your family enslaved, what, 400 years ago? This is the same regime, guys. He didn't like me recording. They hate the Constitution. They hate freedoms. They hate the Constitution. This guy's working for the same regime that put his people in slaves 400 years ago. The same ones, man. I hate to see brothers working for the government. I know they got to make money too, but. That's an Oklahoma County Sheriff, guys. Assisting the Highway Patrol here. They hate the Constitution. You may get some free citations, all right? Can I see the, the radar? For having illegal tent issue citation, for having tent on your front windows that extends more than five inches from the top five for the There's our government overlords, guys. We can't do nothing. Our is 264 
Can I see the radar? Window tinted fractions is 249 inch, all right? Can I see the radar? I'm able to take care of it. What's your name and badge? Six. Can I see the radar? No. Why not? Because you're not going to. You're free to go, sir. Don't harass anybody's rights. The Constitution is here, we the people, is the highest law of the land. They give each other respect, but they don't give us respect. They give each other respect, but they don't give us any respect. That's how it is. Got three tickets, guys. Three tickets. Don't go home and kick your dog. This is not a gag or a scam. They got the right to cover your head with a bag. Lubavitch by Gorilla Feeds. Break the wrong Noah Hyde law. Get the guillotine. And I will only be the from my bench and you will taste the razor blade. The message for infidels is not pretty. I smite them. I know you know you're not God, but M. I can't believe these jokers paid for a damn booth. They should put straight jackets on because they can't move. That truth, you better put the whole knot on me because I can't lose. My gang. We're informing my gang. Diffusing all the. Through this incident, we learn a valuable lesson. The police need to seriously reconsider their approach. With the same issue, if resolved with humility and politeness, everything would be much smoother and quicker. Rather than using aggression and intimidation to impose their authority, a gentler approach would not only help reduce tension, but also build trust and respect between the police and citizens. What does the Chicago Police Department stopping a female driver for allegedly not using her turn signal when leaving a parking spot have to do with the past? Passenger in the front seat. There's no I. There's What's no your reason name? for me. Even. I don't have to release my name to you. I'm a veteran. Okay. Yes, you do. All right. This, I've been the Chicago police seem to be making things difficult for citizens with their unpleasant attitudes, raising suspicions of racial discrimination after this video. We would have said nothing if the police only requested to check the primary driver's documents. But what's noteworthy here is that they also demanded the ID of the passenger in the front seat. In this case, Coleman could have completely refused to provide his ID and declined to answer the police's questions because the Fourth Amendment allows this and the Fifth Amendment pertains to avoiding self-incrimination. Yet, the police arrested him without any specific warrant, which constitutes a severe abuse of power. Tyler! Here. Alright, sir, I'm not being hostile, just so you know. I was being very calm. Do you have your body cam on? Or we'll see that you falsely accused me of something, alright? That's not gotcha. polite. You can videotape too? This is a temporary proof. I, this might What's be it? old. Do you have the actual insurance? Mm -hmm. I don't see it in here. I thought I put it in. Is it your vehicle? It's my father's, but I'm on the insurance. T-shirts with Lincoln Insurance. So it's covered, but I oh, don't yeah. see the document in here. If you need to look it up. Because I was transferring some papers, I don't see it. Okay, yeah, because you just did this. Yeah. Can you ask your dad where it is? Well, I can get his cost. Call my dad so you can look it up or verify. I anything. can't look it up. Did you, do you have an old one? This is just what I. Uh... This might be. That's way old. That's way old. You have the same yeah. insurance? Yeah, it's Lincoln Insurance. You are talking to me. No. You already got my ID. I'm gonna test this. The person driving. <gasps> what am I stepping out for? Step on out, talk to you over here. Do you have any glasses on you? No. Don't worry about? No. Alright, step to the back for me. Alright. Tyler, open the door. Why are you sweating like that? All right, because first I'm of all, sick and we're going to the sick? pharmacy okay. to get some. Why, why are you not cooperating? I'm trying to talk because to you. Because I'm sick. I don't have to release my name to you. I'm a veteran. Okay. Yes, you do. All right. This, I have an investigation going on. Okay. All right. I'm getting my idea. Don't on you? Not at all. Okay. It's in this pocket right here. Please don't touch me. I've been sexually assaulted before. I don't like okay, it. Okay. You're being audio, veteran, video recorded. Veteran. Just so you I know. I'm a veteran okay. PTSD. What's your name? Coleman. Lee, Lee Coleman. And that's what your ID says? Yes. Okay. Where's your ID? In my fifth pocket. Okay. Take your seatbelt off. You're being audio, video recorded. Okay. Just so you know, I'm going to move this and I'm going to take you out of this vehicle. I can walk out. Okay, well, I'm going to help you out. You have no weapons on you? No, I do not. Okay, step out of the car. Oh, yeah. Put your phone down. You're being detained. 
Okay. For what? Because I, I don't believe- The police are attempting to charge Coleman with obstructing justice for refusing to cooperate. The federal criminal code stipulates that obstruction or interference with the duties of federal officials only applies when there is physical force involved. Simply refusing to provide information does not constitute obstruction of justice. The federal consent decree aimed at reforming the Chicago Police Department, CPD, ensures that police activities comply with legal standards, respect human rights, and improve community trust in the police force. However, these officers have undermined the CPD by acting contrary to the goals set by the decree. What are you telling me? Hey, Coleman? Yeah. Okay, once I verify that, you'll be out of handcuffs, okay? Since you're being uncooperative. Okay. You're just being detained right now, okay? to roll down the window. Okay, I believe right you here. to be somebody else. Right there. Okay, if you're Lee Coleman, you'll be free to go. All right? No, check his credit card too. That's my credit. Veteran shit there, sir. I saw okay. this fucking credit Okay, I'm not saying you did it. I don't think you're just asking me to suck this. All we're doing is going to the store. Okay, so and you're going to be on your way? Okay, well, guess what? When people are, are in my profession, in my profession, I'm sorry, if you are... My father's a retired former police officer. Okay, you want to let me talk? You want to let me talk so I can see somebody, me over here, look exactly, I'm not on bullshit, okay? I have a warrant, okay? And I thought you were that person that had a warrant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run it. That's what I'm doing. And I see you. Prefer I understand you might be sick, okay? I am but sick. But I don't know that. And when you're not rolling down the window for me to believe, what are you doing? Stay still. Okay. Okay. And that's that's my point of view, okay? I just want to ask you, and I respect you your service. And, and, and I'm not trying to disrespect you in any way, okay? All right. If you would have rolled down the window, handed me your ID, okay? I told you what I'm looking for. It has a warrant, okay? Right. I'm not on any bullshit, okay? Right, you, I'm not going through your car. I'm not searching you. I'm not doing anything right, like that, right now, okay? Yeah. Where I'm coming from. I have no issue. Okay, you. I you appreciate it. Me, Thank you. I appreciate it. I need it. to get something. Okay. As soon as you run your name, well... I have no problems. Okay. Thank you. All right? You'll be out of handcuffs. You can get to your pharmacy or something to eat, and that'll be it. And that'll be it, okay? And you stop it because you said that you failed to use the turn signal coming out of parking place? I stopped you because I think you had a warrant. Right, so that was a bullshit. Yeah, well, you don't have a city sticker either. All right, this, this, this vehicle is registered to the city of Chicago. All right? Okay. It's not nothing. It is what it is. I'm doing my job, okay? I'm not on any I bullshit. Right. Thank you for your service. What are you, Marine? Me. Navy? Tomahawk Tech. Fire control. I shot the Tomahawk cruise missile from 2001 to 2003. 2007, Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom. Don't be sorry, I provided that link for you. I appreciate that. To being hostile. You said that I was being hostile, and I just said I don't want to get my dick. That's not being hostile. Hostile breeds hostility, which means that you're threatened against someone. I did not threaten you. There is no force. I don't have time for that. I never said you were hostile. She said I was, well, your partner said I was being hostile. All right, I apologize for that. I, I asked you for your ID. That's it. Is he free to go? Mr. Brandon, what's your social? Uh, thank you for all your cooperation. This would have been a lot to Okay, well, I stopped you. Okay. Are you illegally detaining me right now? You're not illegally detaining me. Yes, I am. Okay. You say I look like somebody? Okay. No, I don't. Why don't you tell me? You don't I, might know I, I already told you. I already What's told you. I don't have to get into that. I'm just, I know you don't have to force me. I'm not being. I'm not going to uh, let you know about my investigation. All right. All right. Listen, dude. Veteran? Okay. Don't call me dude. I, I'm not a fucking dude. Sorry. I understand. I understand. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, why do I have to respect you all? This, is, this, this, would, this would have been a whole lot different, man. I would have explained to you if you would have your window. I said you can roll it a crack just so I can hear you. You couldn't give me that respect. Dude, I go, can you roll it down a crack? I'm not trying to get in your stop is over. I'm trying to release you. If Turn it's around. over. Turn around. Rattle. Yeah, every nigga doesn't have a warrant, just so you know. Okay, dude. Once again, dude. I'm not trying I'm not trying to Once again you call me dude. 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 I called you doing. sir. Wow. You, you acting like you're giving me respect and you ain't. Antagonizing when you don't speak to me. An illegal stop. A legal stop. Let me get your right let me now. get your receipt. Right, thank you. Where's my phone? The police violated three of the citizens' rights, including the First, Fourth, and Fourteenth Amendments. Mr. Coleman exercised his right to remain silent and refused to provide identification when he was not involved in the traffic stop. However, the police demanded and used coercion without valid reasons, violating the First and Fourth Amendments. The use of force to pull Mr. Coleman out of the vehicle and handcuff him infringes on the equal protection rights and civil rights guaranteed by the Fourteenth Amendment.
and you stop the recording on my phone too. You're okay. Oh, they better. Back, right? I'm reaching for my ID, just so you know. This is a question. I'm trying to check to see if I have it. To right. see if you actually did that. I'm verifying that. Yeah. You just asked me a question, right? Yeah, you can keep doing this on the driver's license. Alright, here's our names, here's our star numbers. If you have any information, that's just, that's the number that's coming 07867 on right now. Alright. That's just that's just, that's just a doc that's just the number that's our, us documented it. And this is 14 and then this is 11541. Yes. Alright, cool. Hope you feel better. Thanks. Shut your bank real quick. Now, should I let them pull off first or should I not pull off first? Yeah. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Face the car. I'll give you my Which license for you what? In this video, the police claimed that the speed limit on the road was 43, but footage extracted from the official channel in another video shows a sign indicating the speed limit was actually 45. With this discrepancy, the driver could potentially file a civil lawsuit for the false information provided by the police, which appears to have been used to intimidate the citizen. According to the Fourth Amendment, citizens have the right to refuse to provide personal information, including a driver's license, if the police do not have a valid reason and they are fully within their rights to request the officer to show radar evidence. The police in Pleasant Valley, Missouri abused their power by making unreasonable demands and arresting the citizen without following proper procedure. According to updates from the driver, he completely lost control, suffered bruises on his wrists, and experienced numbness in his thumbs. It is a violation of human rights. How are you doing? Not too bad. How are you? Pleasant Valley Police Department. First, I want to make sure everything was okay. Everything's good. Yeah. Okay. If I can get your license and insurance, please. Why do you need that? Well, you why'd were, you pull me over? You were actually speeding on. I'm like, what was what, going, what was I going? Going up the hill. Yeah. What was I going? You were doing 43. No, 43 I was. And it's a 45 right there. Five until if I, I got get to the hill. Insurance. I'm, we're not going to roadside debate it. If I can get your <laughs> license and insurance. I, I wasn't speeding. Uh, go ahead and say in 701 that you wasn't speeding. I've got a camera and everything. I know I wasn't speeding. Need your license and insurance. You pulled me my over because I gave you the finger. That's that's not it. Well, why'd I, you pull I, me over then? I need your license. Insurance. You came up. You came up the way from where you were parked in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. You saw me flip you off over there, mm -hmm. and you came up right on my ass as fast as you could. First, I heard you yell. I seen the speed. I'm not I allowed came to yell after you for the speed. It's you gave not me the good. finger right here. You're right. You gave me the finger right here. It's all on camera. Everything's yeah. on so camera. So my speeding's on camera too. How did yes. you track my speed? 
I need your Stock license radar. and insurance. Stock radar. I, I need your license and insurance. So if I, so if I get license your license uh, and insurance, I'm just <laughs> uh, otherwise take you for being non-compliant. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not going to give you okay. my license, but I, I need, need your it license under threat and threat of arrest. Well, I'm, I'm done. I'm telling you right now. I need your license and insurance right now. For what? Okay. You just said that. Go ahead and step I, out of the car. You just said that I was. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Face the car. I'll give you my license for you what? What am I being arrested for? Being non-compliant. For what? I Face. I just got out of the car. What do you mean I'm non-compliant? Can I speak with your sergeant? He's my captain. You're, yeah, you're good. My captain. He's good. Be on the way. Good. 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 For people, and you've given me a ticket before too. That's why I flipped you off. I know I wasn't. We are not professional lawyers, but as individuals who understand basic human rights, we can clearly see that this is a violation of the law by the police and believe it deserves condemnation. We want to tell everyone not to provide any personal information to the police unless they have a valid reason. The Fourth Amendment protects citizens from overreaching officers and instills confidence in the public about a just constitutional system. It was a huge mistake for the police to confront a law student. I mean there is a reason to stop you. Unless you suspect me of a crime, as Terry v. Ohio, Delaware v. Uh, Prouse, uh, the police cannot demand or search a citizen simply based on a report of suspected firearm possession. The Second Amendment declares that people have the right to keep and bear arms, a law that has been in place since 1791. Perhaps this officer is from a prehistoric era and doesn't understand this law. This law student referenced two cases, Terry v. Ohio, 1968, and Brown v. Texas, 1979, related to demanding ID from an individual simply because they were in a high crime area, which equates to a violation of Fourth Amendment rights. The way this student cited these long-standing cases demonstrates a profound understanding of the law, and it seems that through this situation, the officer learned something new as well. How are you? Not bad. Uh, just so I can uh, concentrate on what you're saying. I'm yep. I'm just gonna... Is that clear? I'm not gonna search you. Just I don't think. consent to any seizures either. Okay. I'm just gonna hold it so I can have a conversation with you. Okay. Um, convicted of committing? And yep. uh, you just pointed that gun at me. When it was loaded, just so you know, you twisted it, pointed it right at me. <laughs> um, people are calling about a guy walking around with a gun, so... Okay, uh, that's not awesome. illegal. Can I have my gun back and... You're on your way, What sir. crime do you suspect me of committing? Like I said, people are starting to call about a guy carrying a gun. Yep, that's a report of illegal... In order to stop me, you have to suspect me of a crime. Can you get your supervisor here? He is on the way. Okay, thank you. Okay, but like I said, people are concerned, so I'm here to make sure everyone's all set. You make sure you're all set. Okay, so I just need to get your ID. You're gonna give me your ID. Unless you are issuing me a summons as 17A, 15A I sure, I need to make sure requires, you, then can you let me speak? do you suspect me of being a felon? I don't know you. So okay, if you don't suspect me of being a felon, then I would like my gun back and I would like to proceed on my way. In order to but unless you suspect me of being a felon, there's no reason for you to stop me. There is a reason to stop you. Unless you suspect me of a crime, as Terry v. Ohio requires you to have a suspicion of crime before you detain an individual. Brown v. Texas does not... To obtain the citizen's personal information, the officer claimed it was for the sake of addressing you properly. While this might sound clever, unfortunately for the officer, the young man saw right through it. Carrying a legally owned firearm cannot be the sole basis for criminal suspicion. Every argument made by this law student was airtight, leaving the officer with no rebuttal. It's unclear whether this law student is exceptionally skilled or the officer is just too incompetent to understand and uphold justice. But either way, this officer doesn't deserve the position he holds. ID? Can I get your first name so I can speak to you on a person-to-person on a -person basis here? Uh, no. The guy I want to try and have a conversation. I'm sorry, sir, but for my own protection, I would rather not give you anything because any name I give you is going to go in the... There's a police log generated for every call. This is called a pedestrian truck. Yep. And unless you have a reasonable suspicion that I'm committing a... Here, have, it has to be a consensual encounter, sir. Here's the deal, sir. You are walking down Congress Street carrying a gun. Yes. Okay. Is so that illegal? It's a cause for concern, sir. Do you suspect me of carrying a crime, committing a crime, yes or no? Sir, I need... Do you have any insurance? Uh, suspenders. Keep my pants up. Yeah, it's the buckle for the suspenders. This is common practice, dude. Okay. Yep. It's not illegal. You see a guy walking down the street carrying a gun. Yep. Okay. Is that the only reason why you stopped me? Yes. That I'm carrying a gun? Yes. Okay. In that case, Wes. Debiri v. Okay. Debiri v. U.S. says that a firearm, where legally carried, sufficient for a, for a stop. Yep. Am I free to go? You are. 
Okay, can I have my gun back? Yeah. Thank you. The Second Amendment legalizes citizens' right to carry firearms, and the Fourth Amendment protects personal information privacy from unreasonable police demands. In situations like these, everyone should stand firm in their legal rights and be prepared to confront tyrannical and unreasonable officers. I hope that after this video, you have a better grasp of the right to refuse to present ID and how to effectively handle stressful situations with the police. Always remember, your rights are a valuable asset that no one can infringe upon if you know how to protect yourself. Knowledge is power, so don't hesitate to share this information with your family and friends. Together, we will stand firm in the face of injustice and protect our freedoms confidently and powerfully.